Hey, what's up everyone? I wanted to share how LinkedIn helped me get my first brand trip. Yes, you heard that correctly. Using LinkedIn helped me get my first brand trip. And I know when you think about LinkedIn, you typically don't think like LinkedIn content creation brand trips. At least I did it. And I wanted to share how you could like do the same, right? So this is a story time with you, Will, and I'll be sprinkling tips of like how to leverage LinkedIn throughout. Um, but Earlier this year, I went, um, I, it, I got the opportunity to teach yoga on a cruise for Nurse Blake. And I have a few nurses that follow me, so you probably know who Nurse Blake is. If you don't, I'll insert a picture of him here. He has a really big social media following. He's a nurse as well. And I love everything that he does when it comes to advocating for nurse safety, all of that, right? I've been following him for a minute. Long, And let me also rewind here. I've been thinking about this today, just your desires, like when you have really, really deep desires, like sometimes you don't even want to share the desires you're, you have because you're afraid that like it won't come true. The one person, as corny as this might sound, that sees it is God, right? And working with Nurse Blake was something that I wanted to do when I started Leslie Does Wellness three years ago, but I didn't know like how it was going to happen, right? And that's something else like a mentor of mine has said a lot is like, the how is none of your business. Like, don't worry about the how. And if you are somebody like me, that sounds crazy, right? So I wanted to share the how of how I got this opportunity and how you can not necessarily copy or anything like that, but just understand how powerful social media is and really how powerful LinkedIn is. Because I know a lot of people, not a lot of people, but I know there's people who are like, you know, I'm not on social media like that, but you, once you need a job, you're on LinkedIn, right? <laughs> so I started really using LinkedIn, um, what was it, like three years ago when I started Leslie and Does Wellness. And when I was over there three years ago, I didn't really understand, but I was just like, you know, I teach yoga. This is my next yoga class. After I taught a yoga class, I would show pictures like it was a great class. This is what we went over blah, 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 right? Sprinkle in like, oh, you know, I'm a nurse here and there. So the more that I showed up consistently and consistently on LinkedIn is maybe like once a week, right? It's not as frequent as other social media platforms. So I always recommend that if you are somebody who like gets really fatigued easily with social media to just, you know, use LinkedIn instead, right? And so I'd show up once a week and start connecting with people that are like doing similar things to me, registered nurses, yoga teachers, wellness gurus, like started connecting more and more with people like that so that I can expand my network, right? And there was one person in particular that I connected with and um, long story short, she saw what I was doing. She's also a nurse and she so happened to work um, with, she worked on the Nurse Blake magazine as a writer. And so she had been seeing what I was doing and she was like, hey, Leslie, I would love to have you in the magazine. And, and that in itself, I want to put a put something, a pin right here. That in itself was like, oh, my God, like this is the opportunity, right? Like I mentioned to you all, I wanted to work with Nurse Blake, but I didn't know how it was going to happen. So I thought this was like this was it. Right. And you know how it goes, guys. I have to always check to make sure I'm recording. So I do the interview. I get in the magazine. And, and what was really, really cool was that I got three pages in the magazine for free. And if you are a new entrepreneur, not even a new entrepreneur, you know when it comes to advertisements, typically you always have to pay. So to get this free exposure, I was, I was just elated, right? So that happens and I do the interview, blah, blah, bling, get, get the magazine. I'm so excited. I frame it, all of that. I tell everybody on social media. I put that as a LinkedIn post. That's that. Then um, maybe a week or so, I forget the timeline, but we'll just say a couple weeks later after it then the magazine article got published, the um, my friend reaches back out to me and is like, hey, like Nurse Blake wants to speak with you. And I was like, okay. He invited me on the cruise and, he, and not just invited me like as a guest, he read the story of me, you know, having this side hustle as a certified yoga teacher. And he was like, I would love for you to be one of the yoga instructors. Your favorite nurse yogi got to teach yoga on a cruise and not just any cruise y'all I got to teach yoga on the nurse con cruise this year and I was so excited. I am so excited This is the 
ultimate. Like it says there, nursing cruise. If you are a nurse or you're in nursing school, this is the cruise for you. It was a pleasure being able to teach yoga to these nurses. We do so much for everyone else. So I was so happy to pour back in this way. Thank you, Nurse Blake, for having me. When I tell you, I was like, wait, what? And he's like, yep, you can bring a plus one. I, if that's not God, I don't know what is, right? So I brought my husband and that that in itself was nice because I've been, you know, in this business thing for only three years, but that has been, and that's a whole nother video, but that has kind of been a struggle too with my husband fully understanding, like, what am I doing, right? I'm just going out to these events and blah, blah, blah. But like, how, how are we making money? How are these, how is this benefiting the family, right? So for me to be able to bring him and him see like, cause it was like a, a week cruise, he likes was like, oh, okay, I get what you're doing now, right? So that's like the the short, I guess, story of how I use LinkedIn to pretty much get a brand trip and to share like, go on LinkedIn, right? Go on there, show up, share who you are. Like, don't just use LinkedIn like if you need a job, right? I also use it like once you get the job and just share like who you are and on all of that stuff. You don't have to get super personal over there if you don't want to, but if you're like volunteering, those kind of things, like sharing that kind of stuff of, of who you are, what you're doing and like what you want to do as well because the LinkedIn community, they really do come together. So let me know below if there's anything else specifically with like LinkedIn that you're wanting to know um, because this was kind of like a story time with Tim tips sprinkled in um but I, like I, I don't know if i said this in this take because this is take like five million but shout out to um a friend of mine sloan who said you know to just share like how i used linkedin to get this opportunity right so anyways y'all i will see you in the next one bye